for you guys that are not Muslim, I want to share something with you. This is a part of a Muslim's prayer that we say at least 17 times in a day. And it goes like this. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, maliki ar-Midin, iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in, idnina sarrata mustaqim, sarrata ladina an'amta alayhim, ghayb al-magdubi alayhim wa la'dalin, ameen. So what I just said was, in the name of Allah, or in the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful, all praise is due to the Lord of all that exists. The most gracious, the most merciful. Master of the day of judgment, you alone we worship, you alone we ask for help. Guide us to the straight path. Guide us to the path of those who have, who you've bestowed your grace, not of those who have earned your anger or gone astray. I mean. As for our khatira today, I realized that uh, there was a very important hadith that I was delaying and delaying to say to you. And inshallah, I really need to say it today before we move on. Because this hadith is perhaps the most important hadith about Surah Al-Fatiha. And we will come back to it over and over again. So I will say it for the first time today. But you must memorize it and I will refer to it over and over again. And it is really the most detailed hadith about uh, Surah Al-Fatiha. Uh, and it is narrated in the Sahih of Imam Muslim, the Sunan of Abu Dawood, the, 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 the Jami of Tirmidhi the, the Mustad Imam Ahmed, all of these books mention it. Abu Huraira said that the Prophet ﷺ said that Allah said. So we now have a hadith Qudsi. Abu Huraira, he's the most famous narrator of hadith. Saying, I heard the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ say that Allah has said. And this is the highest and the most noble level of hadith. Hadith Qudsi means a sacred hadith, a noble hadith. And it is called Qudsi because this is second only to the Quran. The Quran is the speech of Allah. Hadith Qudsi is also speech of Allah, but it's not in the Quran. Hadith Qudsi is also speech of Allah, but it is not in the Quran. It is preserved in the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. So the most sacred of all hadith is Hadith Qudsi. And it occupies a level, if it is authentic, it occupies a level underneath that of the Quran. So what did our Prophet ﷺ say? That Allah has said, I have divided the salah between myself and between my servant in two equal halves. And my servant shall get what he asks in his half. So the hadith begins, I have divided the salah between myself and my servant in two equal halves. And my servant shall get his half, i.e. So I will get my half, yes, but the servant will get his half as well. Then what did the Prophet say that Allah said? Then Allah says, when the servant says, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. And the hadith goes ayah by ayah. So pause here. Our Lord said, I have divided the salah between my servant and myself. And then he goes on to talk about Surah Al-Fatiha only. It is as if Surah Al-Fatiha is the essence of Salah. And that's why it is called the Salah. I have divided the Salah between myself and my servant. Then the hadith only mentions Fatiha. So Fatiha has been called Salah. And if you go back to the very first or the second lecture I gave, I said one of the names of the Fatiha that some of the Sahaba said is Surah Al-Salah. They call this the Surah of Salah. Why? Because of this hadith. That our Lord has called this Surah, He has said it is the Salah. Why? Because the Fatiha embodies everything about our religion. It summarizes the relationship between Allah and us. And that is really what our religion is all about. And what is the purpose of the Salah? The purpose of the Salah is to remind ourselves of the purpose of life. And that is why Fatiha is called the Salah. So what did our Lord say? I have divided the Salah between my servant and myself in two equal halves. Now pause here. How can there be two equal halves when there's seven ayat? We will see. Three here, three here, and one in the middle. Three for Allah, and three for the servant, and one that is the connection between the two. And that's the beauty of the Fatiha. Three verses are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The first three. The last three, dua for the servant. And the middle ayah is the linkage between Allah and the servant that is Iyaq and Abdu Iyaq and Istain. And we'll come to this, that's the whole purpose of our entire uh, tafsir. So what does the hadith say? Allah says, one my servant says, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. 
I say, Hamidani Rabbi, Hamidani Abdi, excuse me. My servant has praised me. So Allah is happy. Allah is happy that my servant has praised me. When my servant says, Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, then Allah says, Athna Alayya Abdi. And the difference between Hamd and Thana is very technical, and Thana is a type of hamd that is repeated. So thana is also a type of praise, but generally speaking, thana is a hamd that is repeated. And if you look at it, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, it has been repeated, is it not? Because how do you begin the Fatiha? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Then you say, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Then you say again, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So it is very appropriate to say, athna alayya abdi, that my servant has repeated his praise of me. Athna alayya abdi. Then the servant says, Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Maliki yawmiddin. And Allah says, Majjadani abdi. My servant has glorified me. Majjada means tamjid. Uh, of Allah's names is al-Majid. We translate al-Majid as the glorious. So, tamjid of Allah means to exalt the status of Allah. And when you say Maliki yawmiddin, you are exalting the status of Allah. So Allah says, my servant has given me exaltation. Majjadani abdi. Then the servant says, Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'een. So Allah says, this is between me and my servant. This ayah is the link between me and my servant. Hada bayni wa bayna abdi. So this is the linkage now. You alone do we worship, O Allah. And you alone are the one whose help that we seek. And by the way, even in this, there are two statements. Iyaka na'bud and then Iyaka nasta'een. And Iyaka na'bud relates to the first three ayats. We worship you, O Allah, because you are Allah, the Rabbul Alameen, the Rahman, the Rahim, the Maliki Yawmiddin. So, Iyaka Na'bud. Then the next, the half surah is the wow. Iyaka Na'bud, then the half surah is wow. Wa Iyaka Nasta'in. You alone are the one whose help we ask. And then the rest of the surah is a help from Allah. Ihdina Salat al Mustaqim. Salat al Ladinam Ta'alihim. Ghayr al Mardubi Alihim Walad Dali. So that wow of Iyaka Na'bud, Wa Iyaka Nasta'in, is quite literally dividing the surah in two. The first half deals with Allah and glorifying Allah. And the second half deals with what we want from Allah. Ihdina Salat al Mustaqim. We'll come to that when we come to it. And so, quite literally, the surah is divided neatly in half. The first three ayat praising Allah. Then based on that praise, what do we do? Iyaka na'bud. We are worshipping you, O Allah, because you are Allah, and you are Rabbul Alameen, and you are Rahman, and you are Rahim, and you are the Malik of Yawm al-Din, so we are worshipping you. But then what do we want from you, O Allah? Iyaka na'bud wa iyaka nasta'een. We need your help, O Allah. After worshipping you, we need your help to worship you. So what do we need from you? Ihdina sirat al-mustaqim. Sirat al-ladhina namta alayhim. Ghayr al-maghdubi alayhim. Waladhalin. So Allah says, when the servant says, Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in, Allah says, this is between me and my servant. This is establishing the relationship, the linkage between me and my servant. And now that the linkage has been established, وَلِعَبْدِي مَا سَأَلْ My servant shall get anything he wants. What he will ask, he will get. So Allah Azza wa Jal is pleased when the servant praises him. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, my servant has Hamidani. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, my servant has Athna Alayya. Maliki Yawmiddin, my servant has Majjadani. So Allah is happy that my servant is worshipping, is praising, is glorifying. Then the servant says, Iyaka na'abdu wa iyaka nasta'in. Allah says, now I have a relationship. Hadha bayni wa bayna abdi. This is now the relationship between me and my servant. Now let him ask as he please, he shall get it. Wali abdi ma sa'al. And then, the servant says, Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqim, guide us to the straight path. Sirat al Ladin and Amta Alehim, the path of those whom you have shown your blessings, Ghayr al Mardubi Alehim, not the path of those who have been shown anger, Walad Dalin, nor the ones who are astray. Then Allah says, Hadha li Abdi, this is what my servant will get because he asked me after praising me. After glorifying me, after giving my hamd and thana and majd, now he will get whatever he wants. And so the servant asks, 
And then when he asks, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, هَذَا لِعَبْدِي وَلِعَبْدِي مَا سَأَلْ This is for my servant, and my servant shall get anything that he asks for. This beautiful hadith of Abu Huraira, narrated in Sahih Muslim and other books, I need you to memorize it because we're going to come back to it over and over again. And inshaAllah ta'ala, because of the weather, we're going to cut it a little bit short inshaAllah. And we will continue this tomorrow. Bi-idhnillahi ta'ala. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. One time some of his companions came to him in the middle of a war, in the middle of a battle. A battle was raging on. And they came to him in the middle of the battle and they say, Udu Allah, ahraqatna nibalu thaqif. The people of Thaqif are killing us with their arrows. Udu Allah alayhim. Make dua Allah destroys these people, wipes them clean off the face of the earth. The Prophet ﷺ raised his hand. Raised his hands for dua, supplication. The companion said, we were like, that's it, done deal, it's over. And then when he opened his mouth, he said, Allahumma Mahdi Thaqifan. Allah give guidance to the people of Thaqif. And he reprimanded his companion. He said, Inni lam la'anan. I have not been sent to curse people, to damn people, to doom people. Wa innama bu'idtu rahmatan. I have been sent as a mercy for people. As a mercy for Allah's creation.